freaking terrible. But we'll work hard to solve the format. Seven wins. And I'm sure we'll make it All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to Bronze the Mythic. Episode one for All Will Be One. That's right, all be one for XL Boy. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to the YouTube channel, please hit the buttons, take a second, support me. Just hit like, like buttons. All you have to do is free. It's easy to do. It's so easy to do. It's super easy, barely an inconvenience. We got a brand new set. We got a brand new run. And I'm pretty excited here because honestly, I didn't think I'd be doing this. Um, I'm just an idiot. And I, uh, I, I, uh, I thought I was leaving for the Pro Tour today, but I had my Tuesdays and Thursdays mixed up. So I'm actually leaving on Thursday. Therefore, I have time to do like you know, a number of drafts before I leave. I thought I was going to be doing this entire series uh, post-Pro Tour. For those that don't know, I'm playing in the Pro Tour on the 17th and the 19th. It is all B1 Draft and Pioneer in paper in Philadelphia. I'm leaving for the testing house uh, on Thursday to go test with Team CFB and my Worlds team. You know, Martin Yuza, Reed Duke, Ely, Siggy. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I thought I'd be playing it, playing this entire series in, uh, in Pro Tour shape. But I'm going to get to get at least maybe six drafts in before I leave for the Pro Tour. So we'll do my usual, you know... This is my first draft here in the entire format, which is good because I don't like I don't like it being my first draft. It kind of makes it fun as far as here we go. And here we go, our very very first draft of Bronze to Mythic for All Be One. Let's go. Of course, the numbers you see here are the uh, untapped overlay. Down if yourself uh, exclamation point untapped or the link in chat. Just draft Smith free to download. Check it out. And uh, we got a pack here with a rare that's not so good in. Uh, in uh, in Lunar Weekcast, a non-creature spell, but a counter target permanent. It's actually like not the worst, like proliferates and stuff. Here's some sort of like spell deck, but we got Porcelain Zealot, 2-3. Mini combat your turn, pumps things up. If it's toxic, pumps even more up. We got Serum Snare, a bounce spell that proliferate, proliferates. Blade Hold War Whip, a double striking for Mirrodin. You rebel scum. Ooh, for Mirrodin mechanic. Uh, Raptor, Rabble. Uh, I'm still reading all these cards, honestly. Press my press press no ranking. What happened? No ranking. Um, so, I got like the whip the Zealot. Zealot seems pretty sweet, honestly. Uh, just go straight forward aggro card. I'll just take the Zealot. This card seems good to me. Um, there's no rankings yet because set literally just came out like an hour ago. So, um, Porcelain Zealot it is. So, uh, being combat, your turn pumps a creature. If it's toxic, pumps, pumps a It's really a pretty powerful effect, honestly. So, there's the Zealot. We see a pack pass to us with a uncommon missing. The rare is Mirix, which makes Might Token. This card's pretty good, actually. Uh, we've got Cacophony Scamp. You're saying it wrong. Pretty cool Goblin. Uh, Rib Skiff. I have no idea how to evaluate this card. Toxic 2, Vehicle, draws a card. Uh, we got Bastilica Shepherd. Pretty good common here. Makes two Might Tokens. Uh, Skull Bomb. We have a removal spell here in Planner Disruption. Just a good, a good arrest card, of course. And then uh, not too much else here. So the land does seem quite good. Um, honestly, I mean, the rule spell is also really good, too, though. I, you know what we do, though, here? We, we, we do like taking the rare in, uh, in Bronze Mythic. So, you know, one of our main axioms in this, in drafting to learn the format is when you're presented with a rare, it looks pretty good. Take it. Because you don't always get an opportunity to see how good a rare is. And you don't want to be in an important draft later on. Open a rare and be like, I don't know how good this is. Well, we know how good that pacifism is. We'll, we'll see it lots of times, but we're going to take the uh, take the rare here. This card's very good. It's it's a pseudo mana fixer, and then it just makes might tokens over and over again for a pretty cheap cost. It's a great mana sink. So we got a zealot, and we got a mirix. We can pass it back with a uncommon and a rare missing. Uh, we do have a contagious vorak. This card seems insane to me, honestly. So three three for free. That ETB looks top four cards in your library. If it's a land, you can put it in your hand. So it just draws a card. And then, if you don't do it or choose not to do it, proliferate, which is also insane. This card seems really, really good. Like a busto, busto common. Um, also got the engulfer. Complete devotion, good trick on toxic creatures. I'm going to take the common, though. Take the green card. I don't know what to take here, honestly, but this card seems good, so let's take it. Horror Fanatic, do so much anymore. You're from episode one, Bronze to Mythic. Let's go! All right, uh, to a pretty stinky looking pack, um, we have the Hunter Maze, we have the Cycle of Spheres, which are pretty cool, these are all common lands that pay, that sack for two mana, come into play, it's half. It's pretty cool, mana, uh, like late game mana sync also, which is nice. We've got a Dune Mover, two on Toxic for two, that can uh, help for splashing. It's not great, because it's just on top of your library, but uh, a Artifact Payoff, a Terran Warfare Expanse. Um, I mean, I don't even know what colors we are yet because we're, we're still pretty open. Um, I feel like it's not a particularly high pick unless you're splashing. 
I'm going to take the maze. I don't really know. On a slate, I don't think that pack was super exciting. So, moving on to our next pack, we see a Fuseling, another cool Goblin card. Duelist of Deep Fate. This card just seems awesome. Uh, a 2 for 2 with First Strike on, on your turn is just great. And then it's Toxic 1 also. And we're obviously looking to Toxic here, probably. So, probably going to be that one. We also see an Oil Gorger Troll, which is a, uh, a pretty awesome card as well. Uh, this is a great common 3 4 ETB gain life draw card, but requires you to have things with oil counters. Trying to get that all. And uh, we don't have those, any of those yet. I think that, you know, we're going to be in the Infect deck. We're going to be more of an Infect deck, not an Oil deck. So I think we're going to take the, the Duelist here. Uh, not sure it's right. Both cards seem very, very good, but we're just going to wing it. And uh, it's our first draft. We're just guessing. We have no idea what's good. Uh, moving on to this card's pretty sweet. This is a, a, a retrofitter. It's a 2 3 Toxic for 3. It makes a artifact into a 4 4. It's also just a 2 3 Toxic for 3, which is fine too. So, really, really good card. Uh, and here he's sacrificed. I can press an artifact to kill some stuff. Serum Core Chimera. Blue Red looks a little open here, right? Uh, and we cast Spell, put an oil counter on this. Move the oil counters to draw a card. And you may discard an online card if you discard a card, bolt something. It's pretty cool. Obviously, way off our colors, but. Uh, and then we have, like, a pretty crappy Tapper. Uh, a really, really expensive removal spell. I'm thinking the Retrofitter. This card is really, really good, I think. And we'll just kind of keep things open a little bit. Resistance Reunited. Plus two, plus two. And then Instructable for Equip Creatures. So pretty just, like, meh combat trick. We've got an Indoctrination Attention. Three, four, Toxic, one. When easy bees turn another remaining control to its owner's hand, if you do, make a Might. So you can bounce your own stuff for value. It's also an Oxic Creature. Um... That seems, I don't know, okay, not great. Uh, this is an artifact payoff. Blue white is kind of like the artifact you think. V, your new sub, what's your name? Where you from? Welcome. You must have land too. Sure. This card's like fine. I guess we'll take this card. I don't know. Bouncing land seems reasonable. Uh, another one, uh, also in against all odds, which is blinks at one of the things you control or reanimates thing you control. Uh, and a canopy, which is just the usual plummet, but it has proliferate on it. Mere Kinsmith goes and searches for a mirror. I guess, attendant? I, I I don't know. Draft number one. Pick one back one for us was the uh, the uh, Porcelain Zealot. So from our pack that we opened, the Bladehold War Whip Tables. You rebel scum. Wow. 2-2 uh, two, two double strike for three with the equipment cost as well. It seems pretty good, actually. Um, also a Leonin Lightbringer, uh, Orthodoxy Friend, Chimney Rabble, and a Hunter Maze. I'm taking this thing. Just gotta keep it kind of open. This card seems pretty good, honestly. It's just like... Two to, two to strike for three is fine with upside. We see the the caw caw phony scamp here at tables as well, um, which is the fine card honestly. Leon and Lightbringer another ward effect and then a equipment effect also. Also Basilica spell bomb gives a creature flying plus two plus two. This card is pretty sweet, sweet honestly. Take a spell bomb here. Plus two plus two and flying and draw a card. Not bad for a little cantrip. We see sky scythe engulfer reach trample six five. Just like, not a very good synergy card, but a card in general. Uh, or the escaped experiments. I guess the engulfer, I guess. I mean, um, hazardous blast or enforcer, sure. Uh, these cards seem kind of bad. And then last pick, Bardic. All for all my D2 fans out there. All right, so. Interesting pack one. We definitely are looking white, but we're still kind of open here. Um, open up pack number two, and what do we see but the Rat King himself. Uh, LSV says there are three rats in this set. An uncommon, a common, and this thing itself. So, for the most part, this is not a toxic, this is just a toxic creature. Uh, very exciting. We got a log book, which is it's obviously fine. It's a three, three for three, which is fine, but a uh, log book for artifact stuff. The old thumbing bird, pretty cool card. We have the Prosthetic Injector, which seems cool. Um, experimental to Augury Proliferates. Lattice Blade Mantis, two oil counters over attacks with a counter, untap it to give it counters. It's like, okay, not very toxic though. We have Plague Nurse. I, mean, I think we're toxicing, I don't really know. Um, this card seems good to me too, the Injector, honestly, but I'm just gonna take the Plague Nurse. Like, I don't even know, honestly, I got no idea. We're winging it. I think, I think we're still green, green white toxic, but. We'll see, I guess. We'll see. Uh, Trawler Drake, which is a 1-1 one, one flying oil counter creature that gets bigger when you proliferate or play it on creature spells. We're not really blue. 
Here's the Injector again, which is kind of a cool card, honestly. It's plus two, plus two, plus two and toxic, so it makes it so it's hard to block your cheap creatures uh, if they have high power. The Incisor Glider is pretty sweet. Um, this pumps the team if you are hitting them uh, with toxic stuff. Plays all with the Inspector, the Injector. The Mandible Justicator is an artifact payoff card, but looks like we're more toxic y. Um, I think we're trying Glider. I don't really know how good it is, but I don't. I don't know. We're winging it. Ooh, wow. Okay. A Venomous Brutalizer. This card seems insane. It's just a 4 4 Toxic, 3 for 4 with upside, so you can kick it and proliferate it, which is great. Uh, again, more blue white artifact payoffs. We're not doing that stuff, really, I don't think. Uh, just slam the Brutalizer. I think we're just green white. Um, we're just going to do a little toxic stuff. Wow. 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 Just when I thought I was out. That's the wrong button. I moved some stuff around. Wow. That's uh, maybe, maybe a problem. We got Ossification and Planet Disruption, both insanely good removal spells. Ossification is sort of like a chain to the rocks on any basic land. Uh, and then Planet Disruption is like, like an arrest. This card's obviously insane. So two very late white removal spells here, uh, which is sick. So I'll take that. Um... We got Crawling Course, Charge of the Mites, Battle Chair. I think this card's awesome. This is just uh, uh, Colossal Dreadmaw on steroids because the it leaves behind this big equipment, which is pretty great mana sink. Charge of the Mites and Crawling Course, both pretty middling. Let's take the Battle Chair here. Take the, uh, Good Lord. the Boomer. Gigantism. Another Retrofitter. This card seems so good. Uh, another Bardake. We got Oil Gorger Troll. A Icar Spit, ba Spit Basilisk and a Copper Long Legs. Um, we don't have any oil stuff, so the, the troll all would, would, would be great. It just seems kind of like not very exciting in our deck. I guess we want the Basilisk. It's not the most exciting card, but sure. Uh, Noxious Assault. Creatures you control the plus two plus one a turn. Whenever a creature blocks this turn, it's controlled with a poison counter. That's kind of cool. Um. It's like a weird overrun effect. That's good if you're toxicing your opponent anyway. Nothing else here is exciting. Let's try it out. Sure. It seems a little clunky and, and eh. I think that if we're like... It's only really good if you're like infecting them by a lot. But we'll see. So... You know, they're a golfer. Not very excited about that. But sure, I guess. Pretty serious. Pretty pretty solid in uh, green white here, I think. Uh, the injector tables. So we'll try that one out, I guess. Solve Injector, Duelist. We only have two two drops right now. And we have two three drops. So our, our curve right now is kind of a disaster. Um, another Injector. Staying both these table makes me think that, I think that it might not actually be that good. Um, don't think I want two of them. I'm just going to take the three drop. You keep the cards you draft, yes. Uh, I mean, I think this card is a lot better than it looks, but I don't... I think it's a card we're like excited to play, really, but sure. Um, sure. Spore Singer, Vorak, Basilisk, Zealot, Nurse. We have a lot of four drops. Last pick, Troll? Are you freaking kidding me? Inconceivable! You say so. All right. Um, we open up pack three. Open up a bad rare for us. This is just a clony. Uh, Cloning equipment, not too great. We've got uh, nothing really good in green or white, which kind of sucks, actually, because we could use them. I mean, this spell off is fine. This is just similar to the white spell bomb, just like a cantrip evasive effect, which is pretty nice. Um, sure. Charge is okay, but not particularly exciting. Um, the mites are... I guess it's creature use control, but our curve's kind of high. Yeah, I guess it's, let's try this, sure. Um, definitely gotta lower our curve here. I don't wanna play these things. Alright, pass the pack with a Annex Sentry, which is pretty good. This is just a, uh, a, uh, Brutal Cathar kind of effect on a 1 4 Toxic creature. We've also got, uh, a Helm and a Lightbringer and just nothing else. Just two on color lands for us. We'll slam a Sentry. And let's cut some more of these crappy cards from our deck. The Troll just this isn't good in our deck. We don't have any will counters. Normally we would, but... And then... Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, so we get past a Maze Crusher. Third. And we're just, like, not red. Maybe we're in the wrong colors, honestly. Red seems pretty open here, honestly. 
It's also Ruthless Predation, which is a uh, just a good fight spell. Yeah. Uh, Apostle Invasion is kind of weird. Just like a big idiot flyer. Um, we already have tons of big idiots. Yeah, we're going to pass the Crusher if you just like can't. I mean, we don't have any red sources, so whatever. Take Predation. It's a fighty effect. Filigree Silix. Kind of a Ratchet Bomb plus plus. Yeah, we're definitely the wrong colors here because like there's so many good cards that aren't in our colors. And we're just getting nothing. Uh, so this is not ideal, but sure. Um, Spore Singer or Gold Warden's Helm. Both just like filler level cards. We have uh, the Battle Chair and just like a bunch of four and five drops right now. So our curve is really, really high. Um... I mean, I don't know. Honestly. Another battle chair? Oh my god. So I, I think we just like forced this toxic deck and just didn't need to do this at all. It feels like our deck is just like... like to the toxic just isn't open at all. Um, maybe backdoor to like big stuff. Because battle chair is... Battle chair is pretty good. It's an expanse also. There's no code for free packs. It's just, it's just on your account. It's in your inbox. Yeah. Charge of the Mites, Glider, Basilica Shepherd, Tyrannix, Atrocity. This card's sweet. Our curve's just so high. You know, it just really is, like, insanely high. Just, like, five drop, five drop. I mean, Glider, I just don't think we're going to be corrupting them, honestly. Um, We have the one Injector, but I guess we'll take the two drop. We just need to, like, not die, so. All right, so we have three two drops. We have Sentry, Charge, two... Like, the Spore Slinger is, like, pretty bad in our deck. It's a Crawling Chorus. I mean, like, it's not great, but... Infecting them. We have two of these now, so, like, getting them corrupted is pretty important. Sure. Yeah, not a... Not looking great so far, but... Alright, um... We got Mandible Justicator, a Late Volt Charge. Yeah, we're definitely in the wrong colors. I mean, this card's like just a 2 1 lifelink for 2, which is like fine, you know? Um, yeah. Pretty ugly first draft, I'm not gonna lie. We are just literally all over the place. We just have like a pile of cards. Uh, Canopy, the Maze Spell Bomb ta or Tables. We could like main this card, right? There's like enough artifacts of Seven, we could probably main deck this card. Um, yeah, just a pretty bad draft. It's our first draft, you know? What do you expect, honestly? It's draft number one of a new format. Um, I'll take the helm. Got a lot of mana things, so that's for sure. Let's see what we got here. So, we gotta cut, uh, these in dock. Jeez, this is late. This is how you know you're in the wrong colors. Just like, if you're in the right colors, this, you, you, you get late picks like this. This card's awesome. Uh, all right. So we got we got some deck building to do here. So we got we got a mess. We got to clean it up. We're bronze four first draft bronze mythic. You're sitting at that, at that follow button on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, let's try and fix this. Um, so we got spell. Uh, we have 27 cards. We need to cut some of them. Uh, Annex entry charge of the mites helm. I mean, Lightbringer is pretty... And the Source Rangers are also pretty bad, too, unfortunately. Uh, Canopy, Vorak, Basilis, Brutalizer, Nurse. Zealot, Double Indoct... This is hard, like... Anything good to bounce? Bouncing our Spore Slingers is okay. Oh, actually, bouncing your own Formirated equipment is actually insane. Because you do... Uh, because you get you keep a two two and make a new two two. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Um Bardake. I think the assault's very bad in our deck because we're not uh we're not really toxicking, unfortunately. I think this card's good if you are already if they already have a number of counters, and they say they already have five toxic counters, and you just like have five creatures in play and it's active and they can't block and they just die. So um So cut that. The Bardake. I mean Bardake and Battle Chair are good with the attendance kind of. Zealot. Do you want these cards are not playing? I don't think so. Sentry, Charge, Helm. 
Sportsinger is pretty mopey also, honestly. We're not really pushing through damage, nor are we really proliferating. Canopy, Vorak. Everything just seems so, like, bleh. Um, like, I think the Spell Bomb is fine. Like, I, it's just, like, super locked in. Goes. Crawling Course is pretty bad in this deck, but it might get the first few Toxic Shots in turn our gliders. So, um, I think Ejector's good. I, I think this card's good. Obviously, it'd be better if we had more high power, low toughness creatures. So it's not ideal in our our deck as built, I guess. So we just don't want it, actually. Yeah, I could buy that. Uh, works well here, I guess. Sure. We. I guess our plague nurse is bad too, because we don't have any toxic cards yet. So this draft was entirely me just like wanting to be the toxic deck. And just not recognizing that it was not open at all. Uh, was not even close to open. So, cut that. And then, we have a lot of mana sync. I think playing 17 lands is fine, honestly. This card's fantastic. It does seem very good to me, I, I agree. Uh, but, we, um, next century, the Charge of the Might's Helm. Charge of the Might seems kind of meh, too. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is the helm pulling it? I mean, the thing is, the helm is good with the uh, the the, the, the attendance because you play the helm, it makes a two two, and then you uh, you, rebel scum. you bounce the helm itself and keep a two two in play, and then play it again later. That's kind of cool. That's actually like a pretty cool little synergy. Um, let me just cut this party because card sucks. All right, so we're gonna play twenty three lands with our our Murex. Um. We have Murex and Hunter Maze. Yeah, I guess this is it. Let's add some Landos. We're on my, uh, my Bronze Mythic accounts. So our land selections aren't as good, but... So we can do... We get more white, right? So more white. So we're going to go 8-8-1 eight, eight, with the Murex. And uh, that's our first deck. First deck of, uh, of the series. So what do you think, folks? Place your bets. Seven wins, yay or nay, YouTube folks. Take a second, pause the video, and scroll to the comments. Leave a comment, capital letters, believer or non-believer. What do you think? Seven wins, yay or nay. We are in bronze four. So just be aware of that. We are in bronze four. All right, so make place your bets, and let's get right to the games here on the first episode of Bronze the Mythic for All Will Be One. I'm not worried you shouldn't be either. Let's hear it for the non-believers. Chat, come hang out with me. Let's get some games on. Here we go, Bronson Mythic. And we're on the play, and our hand is bad. We do have our uh, we do have our Wombo Combo of Helm plus Indoctrination. I would keep this on a draw, on the play we can't keep this. So we're gonna mulligan to a passable hand. They bought mulligans also. We're gonna keep, we're gonna ship our, our Spore Singer, I guess. So we have our Death Toucher. We have our Fight card. We have our three, four Toxic, might maker thingy so we'll see we are on bronze four but like there's a lot of players who don't play for a while and then come back for a new set so like for example like you know my their, their account might have decayed down to bronze when they were normally like a mythic level player or high level player so no guarantee our opponents aren't good we draw a two drop that's pretty sick <laughs> like that little phyrexian action we are the Borg. creepy ass shit Cassian's doing great He's been, he's, been, he's been sleeping a little better. He's been very, very happy. He's a very, very happy baby. Two and lifelike for two is obviously just fine by itself. So, blue white theme is kind of like artifacty stuff, whereas the green white theme is kind of toxic stuff. It's important to make sure you have the right cards for your deck. You have a three drop and a four drop. Imponents already in the tank on turn two. Light Belly Rat. We have a 2 2 Toxic Proliferate. And I think I'm fine trading here. Just playing Basilisk, so let's just jam. Take two, gain two. Basilisk, 1 3 Toxic Lifelink. Sorry, Death Touch. Cassian's having giggle fits on the, his swing, watching Daddy on the TV while Nicole gets lunch. Glistener Seer. 
one mana for an O3. Has an oil counter on it. Move an oil counter and scry one. Sure. It's fine by me. Get a glider to pump our Justicator or a Indoctrinate. They're going to annihilate in Glare, sacrificing the thing to kill my Death Toucher. Sure. So, not the best use of resources, I don't think, here. They killed a pretty low value creature for for two cards. It's not, not a, a thing. One of the important things we do in these early, in early series here is we're going to point out some mistakes our opponents are making, not to make fun of our opponents. Uh, but to make sure that we're showing you what to not do when you're in bronze as we work our way up to the ranks. So uh, definitely removal spells, that's kind of like a basic limited 101 thing. You really want to make sure you're using it on high value targets unless super necessary. And killing this 1-3 is not that big of a deal in, all, in the grand scheme of things. So we're going to attack for two. We're going to gain two life. We're going to play the Indoctrination Attendant. And you can return any permanent you control. Let's bounce a land here. This is actually pretty good, honestly. So we're going to bounce, uh, bounce a forest. Get our might token. And I pumped. I screwed up because I didn't pump this thing. So, uh. First draft. What's up, folks? Yes, I am playing in the Pro Tour 2 in two weeks. So we get our might token. These are one of the mechanics of the set. This is a 1-1 one, one token with toxic one that can't block. So, similar to the decay tokens from uh, Crimson Vow, but, um. Or whatever it was. Midnight Hunt. Crimson Vow, right? Uh, but they don't die immediately. So they're kind of weird in that like they're tokens, they can't block, but they are there for the, the duration. So they act a little more like tokens, but not being able to block is a very important factor. So, and we see a Bone Picker Scourge, 2-2 two -two flying. This is the Corrupted mechanic. So the Toxic mechanic, uh, whenever you, the creature does, does damage to a player, they get, a, they get a Poison Counter. And then Corrupted means if you have three or more Poison Counters, it turns on the ability. So if we have three or more Poison Counters, this thing would be a Death Touch Lifelink Flyer, which is pretty good, honestly. So hopefully we'll try to avoid that. We got a land here, and I think we're going to start killing stuff and getting in. We can play our Glider, pump our Justi Justicator, and then Predation killing the Flyer, probably, uh, and get in for a decent swing. We could actually Predation on the Might, so it'll be a plus one, plus two, kill this, and then attack. So we could be poisoning them twice, probably. And if both the Attendant and the Might hit, then I get to uh, turn on my Corrupted for my, uh, my Glider, so... Pump this thing up, and we're going to do the fight here. Uh, we're going to fight the Might, so it can, it'll can it be a 2-3 and it can attack, and we're going to kill the 2-2 Flyer. And then we uh, move to combat, give him the old Leroy. Leroy! And now they don't block these two creatures, they'll hit Toxic 3, and they'll turn on our Corrupted Thorn Gliders, so sick. They trade, we gain life, they proliferate, they can add a counter to our poison. Proliferate's the ability where you can add a counter to anything you want to on the board. One for you, one for me. So, only counter available was the poison counter, but uh, obviously oil counters, other things like that. There are no plus one, plus one, or no minus one, minus one counters in the entire set, uh, which is important to note because those are so powerful to play with proliferate. Uh, so, there you go. But first win, uh, opponent was behind and they decided to give up. Let's take it. I do want to remind you all, this is very important. The jerseys are back, folks. Jerseys are back. Colas Apparel, they are back in stock. And these things are so freaking awesome. They are super thick, high quality NHL class jerseys. Custom, your name, your number. Uh, super, super high quality. Check them out, colossapparel.shop. It's promo code Jim 10 10 off your order on colossapparel.shop. And again, these are super high quality custom jerseys. They're great. They're super nice. Uh, that's my world's one. I have my own that I wear at events. I'm going to hang that one up, actually. It's super, super cool. So custom jersey. If you're a big pile driver fan, and uh, again, promo code Jim 10 10 off your order. That's a big deal. Uh, it's, it's a little bit pricey item. It's still not, 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 not the cheapest, but it's a high level, high quality, high level item. Game two. Let's go. We got Indi uh, Injector, Justicator, Helms. Good. We can keep this. Get it in the Whalers covers. The, the Whalers. That's a, that's a hockey, uh, hockey hipster there. Draw the Forest. Easy game. Um, we could hold this to pump this, but I, yeah, we're going to hold it, actually. We're, we're going to go this on two and this on three. So, this is fine. Let's just up. How's that going to be toxic three? They were going to have three poison. Infinity, resub. Thanks so much. Prophetic prism. Reprint here. Little cantrip artifact. Not going to be as good as it was in the last set, because last set had a bunch of, like, artifacty, sacrificey, card drawy things. Less of that in this set, I think, for sure. So we're going to go with our Justicator, the Mandible Claw here. Next turn is going to be the Helm, which has the four mirrored ability. 
meaning that it makes a rebel token and then puts it on the equipment. So we're going to have a 2 3. This card, yeah, probably good in the blue white deck where the blue white deck is going to be all about uh, artifacts. So we're going to anoint with affliction to kill my creature. Very, very good common. Uh, excellent card. And have a nice day! Here's the helm. Uh, we also have the Vorak here to find a land or proliferate, but put the injector on this thing next and give it, and give it, uh, and give it some poison. You rebel scum. Yeah, I think these cards are a lot better than they look. Like, a lot better. Uh, leaving behind extra material is always really, really good. Uh, and each one of these is an artifact. It's also, an, also a creature. Pumps up things like the, uh, like the Justicator. Has synergy with artifacts. You can sacrifice this artifact for value. It's pretty sweet. You can bounce it. Sub, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. We got an Orthodoxy Enforcer. 2-4 Vigilance. Plus 2, plus 0 if they have 2 or more artifacts. They already have 1, so... We got a land. Um, I mean, putting the Injector on here doesn't really do that much. So, I guess we're just going to Vorak. And nothing to proliferate either, really, so... Yeah, fire on the Injector and attack. They probably just block, so we'll just play the Vorak and... Look at the top four cards. I find a cool land here. We find our Mirrors. We found, we found, a, found a maze. Cool. I put a ladder already, didn't I? That's okay. That's okay. Play the injector, which we'll I go. And of course, we can always move this helm as well for plus O oh, plus one. Again, I think this card's a lot better if you're playing high power, low toughness creatures. But here's a stinging hive master, a three two for three. It makes it might when it dies, and a mandible justicator making this do a four four. It's, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Good lord. Gigantic. Pretty happy to put this block here, honestly. Just like take my two for take, take my uh, my one for one. Trade their four four by three three. Happy with that all day, I think. So it's not a great attack, because like they're all they're 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 totally tapped out. So we aren't even scared of anything. Like that's just like saying, hey, do you want to trade my four four with your three three? And I say, yes, I do actually. So um We're gonna play the duelist here, and uh, we have attacks now. So we can actually put this on here, and they, their blocks aren't that good. I should like that, I think. So, put this here. Now, fire in for our attack. And with our 2-5, get our Toxic Train going. Can we do it? Can we get in? I leave PT on Thursday. Yes, uh, the P leave for the PT testing house on Thursday. I'm picking up Martin, uh, use at the airport. And then we're going to the house. And then me, Martin, Siggy, Jacob, uh, uh are going to uh, the o the Oilers Flyers game. So have fun. Got it. All right, play Duelist, play Maze. And I'll be at the testing house for until the Pro Tour. Let's move the injector over to the Duelist. So now I have a two four toxic, two, it's, and toxic stacks. So it has toxic one and toxic one. Make sure I meet gritty. I'll I'll try. I'll see. It's like, meet Connor McDavid, meet Gritty. It's got to be Gritty. It's got to be Gritty. Gritty's probably toxic. Yeah, I agree. All right, so here comes Gulping Scrap Trap. That's disgusting. Uh, um, I did like a, that's gross sound effect on the soundboard. 4-4, uh, four, four, when ETBs or dies, proliferate. We draw a Spore Singer. It's actually a pretty good draw here. We play a land. We can go Spore Singer, give this plus two, plus two. And Vigilance and get in for a 4-6 First Striker. I like it. Honestly, I'm cool with this. Let's pump this thing up. Boom. Oh my God, Becky. And now if this thing hits, they will get two Poison Counters. Put the, putting them putting them into, into the Corrupted range also, like that. What's up, ZD Man? Alright, sure. Some early scoops today so far, but whatever. We'll take it. Bronze the Mythic, episode one. Let's go. All right. We drew our Myrix, which is pretty sweet. So I get a Myrix as the land that makes might tokens. Really good mana sync. Cool card. And uh, we got some stuff. Our hand's like not great, but it's fine. So we got a Gold Warden's Helm. Let's play the Injector out here, I think. Play Injector, we have a 3-drop and a 4-drop. Um, unfortunately, this will give Toxic a thing, so that make, makes this card a little better. The Porcelain Zealot. Green-White. Uh, 
Infested Flesh Cutter. Just the grossest set of all time. Duelist to Deep Faith. Let's go. Toxic 1. Toxic 2. What's up, Gare Bear? Yes, I, I screwed up. I'm actually leaving on Thursday. I just did. I just had the date wrong. So, I'll be here today and tomorrow doing Bronze and Mythic before I leave for the Pro Tour. Vested Flesh Cutter. All right, so I got the Vorag. This card seems just busted for a common. Silver Art Reset, thanks so much. All right, so they get a land. They have a 3-3. Three, three. Um, unfortunately, we uh, can't really push through here. I just want to use the removal spell, and I don't really want to use this yet. So should I play the Helm and say go, I think. Um, we're not in like a huge rush here to try and push damage or anything, so just play Helm say go. So, uh, you rebel scum. say go. We can use this if you want to kill this, but, like, we don't really feel pressure to do that just yet. Again, you don't want to be pretty stingy with your removal spells, you know? Removal spells are, are not, it's not like in Inconstructed where you're just, like, have a million kill spells. Like, you only get a few in Limited, so you really got to make sure that make sure that they make them count. Only either on high-quality targets, or when it's, it, it's forcing a really good exchange for you. So, point of place land number four. And a Bone Picker Scourge. Again, the Corrupted Creature, but no uh, no poison yet, though. Also, an Incubation Sack. Really, really good card here. Um, this is a one mana card. ADBs three, with three oil counters on it. Pay four, make a 3-3. Three, three. You can also proliferate onto this over and over and over again. So it's an almost never ending source of 3-3s, three, which is pretty good, actually. It's actually a very good card. So we're going to play a land. Now that this card's in play, I'm feeling more pressure to want to try and like get this game going. Because uh, they are going to be making a lot of 3-3s three, over the time. we got things going, so... Um, so I think we're ready to kill this Vorak now, because now it allows for a pretty good attack. So we're going to use our Predation. It is a fight, so we'll use the fight on the Duelist, put the Injector on the Gold Warden, and then play the Crawling Course. I could also play the Zealot too, I guess, and push this through for four. That's probably better, actually. Yeah, let's do that. So, play Zealot. Move to combat. This is now a 4-4 first strike. Yeah, it's better. I like that better. Just put more things on the board. My initial impression is this is going to be a fairly aggressive format because of how the toxic mechanic plays where it just, you know, you... It's less about being poisoned out and more about can you get to that third counter for all your corrupted cards because all your cards become so much better. So if you're able to get it out to a fast start and turn it on, it's very good. Their Eye on my Zealot. Three cards in hand. They got one poison counter, and they're going to ossify. So they're going to ossification and exile of a zealot. So the uh, channel land control exile creature, and they're going to put the flesh cutter onto the bone picker surge. Flesh cutter is plus two plus O. Oh. Whatever attacks make a might. That's pretty good actually. It's not, not too shabby. So we are going to untap. We are going to look at uh, probably got a predation to kill the flyer now, because it's also the cost of them equipping it now too. So. And then I kind of want to make this duelist bigger too, so we could go. Hmm. Can't really attack a both here, honestly. We want to crawling chorus maze. Yeah, we're a little short here, honestly. This card's pretty good. It's very slow, but um, we're just gonna inject on the duelist, and then I guess just fight and kill the flyer and then attack. Yeah, this card plays very well with this card because obviously the first strike means the blocks don't matter that much, so the damage doesn't matter. Let's put this here. Let's predation. And we're going to pump this and fight the flyer. And we're going to attack with our three power first strike creature. So it's got first strike, no good blocks for them. Alright, so three, now they have three, three, three toxic now because this has double toxic, so our corrupted cards are on. Play a course, play a maze. Yes, yeah, I can't move. I can't move the equipment because it'll die. It's a very, very important thing. It's a very, very common mistake people make is that they move an equipment after combat. This thing was a two-four with uh, with uh, two damage on it. So if I had moved the equipment, it would shrink back down to a two-two and then just die. So it's a very, very common mistake. Happens a lot. Uh, don't do that. Basically, be careful with your equipments uh, and moving them. So we got. 
Three poison. Again, they have the uh, the sack here. So they have, you know, at least three three threes coming over the next few turns. A three one toxic, sure. And a three three. So this game's board's getting gummed up pretty bad here, I'm not gonna lie. The good news is that we have a, a Mirix for a never ending army of uh of mites. Yes, on Arena it, it, it shows the number go down. That's not how it works exactly, but so we got our maze here too to draw a card. Bulge quick, resub, thanks so much. Um, so yeah, no good attacks here, unfortunately, but we'll just start making our, uh, just start making mites. Everybody buckle up. It's going to be a long one. They have three threes. I've got mites. I have a two, four blocker, which is good at least. Sixteen to thirteen. In the tank. We might just make it through. What's up, Iconoclasts? How's it going, folks? I know I'd go from bronze to mythic. If I could only open some rares. Fill a barrel roll. Talked about A-Rods of the Jets, as in Alex Rodriguez, the baseball player. Or Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> I mean... Alex Rodriguez is probably a better quarterback than anyone the Jets actually has, so, right? It's like, yeah, sure, whatever. He's a baseball player, he did steroids, whatever. Get him on the team. Suit him up. He's got an arm. He can throw a ball. Opponent's really in the tank here, too. Jeez. They have the equipment. This thing gives also gives plus two, plus O. Oh, so this actually pushes through my uh, my stuff as well. We're a big dog here, I think. Uh, this game has slowed down to a crawl. So now cards like the Sack and the Flesh Cutter, which are very slow and man-intensive cards, um, are going to really stand out. Yeah, I mean, we're just chilling. Got to crack this maze soon, I think, and just try and draw out of this, I think. We have two big six drops. We have a lot of stuff going on, so. All right, so here comes a five power creature. And uh, we could double block, but it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad either way, honestly. I'm going to double block. It feels kind of awful, but just like... This is gonna happen every turn, and we need to start trading. I think, or make it make it make a mite token, a mighty mite. Why is this mite different than these mites? Hmm. There's a big boomer. Good lord. Thank Bruno, thanks to raid. Appreciate it. Uh, let's go land battle chair. Then we'll put the injector onto the two three, and uh, we're just buckling up for the long haul here. We do have a 6-6 six, six Trample, which is pretty sweet. I think this card's excellent. Like, excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, it's, just, it's just a 6-6 six, six Trample for 6, which is, which is great. And then, as the game drags on like this, we can move this equipment around over and over and over. Oh, crap. Trying to get that all. Oh, oh. This card's very, very good. Me and Nicole did a, an at-home pre-release. We, we, we built our decks and played one match. And Nicole, this card, it crushed me. There's your last counter. Now, that might have been a mistake by my opponent. So, one important thing to know about Proliferate is it can't create counters. It can only give you more of what you have. So, once you remove the last counter off a Proliferate card, you can no longer Proliferate onto it. So, now they're out. They cannot make any more 3-3s. Three or if they had waited, as this game's going to go on for a while here, obviously, they could have found a spot where they could have Proliferated it and made more and made more 3-3s. Uh, more three so, important thing to note. Um, now, we can move things around a bit. We can put the Injector onto the Battle thingy and just act for a ton. And then move it around also, which is great. So, we also have Ossification, which we might not want to use yet, because there's nothing really that important in play. Let's put the uh, Injector onto the uh, Battle Choir. Battle... Was... Battle Chair, sorry. 6-8. Um, I would happily trade it for two creatures, because a lot of the power here stays on the board on the, uh, on the actual Battle Chair. Switch attack here. Here comes the big boy. Could have moved this too, but I think it's just like too much mana, so. This thing costs seven to equip, so I can't move it yet, but. Take a bunch. They get more toxic counters. Move the injector back over to the, the helm, and now I can activate the Mirix. Can't stack the land too, but. I'll just say go. I mean, now they're at seven with four poison counters, and we're at 16, which is pretty good. Ugh, 
the good thing is, see, this is why you hold your kill spells, folks. This is a great example of why you want to be very stingy with your kill spells, because this card would have probably killed us if we didn't, uh, if we can't kill it. But thankfully, we hold on to our rule spell. We're in no rush. All they have is three threes, and that'll kill this thing. Alright, so. Alright, what's up? Even wear my complete shirt today from Colas Apparel. Promo code Jim 10 10 off your order. Make a mite token here. Another mighty mite. These mites are not going to be useful. There was a million of them, but ooh, that's a good draw. The incisor glider, which is just obviously horrifying. Uh, corrupted, pump the team when it attacks, which is pretty great. So we're going to do the uh, same thing as last turn. Let's ossify this first. Play ossification. Play it on a forest. Eat this huge freaking creature. Get off my plane. Then we're going to move the... Injector over to the 6-6. Six, six. And this thing costs white and one. This costs white and one. Yeah, we're sure if you, want to, if you want to trade, so be it. It's fine. And now we can put the battle chair on the on the flyer, too. So here it comes. No blocks again? Inconceivable! Alright. Down to one, I guess. Uh-huh. Here's your glider. Let's put the injector onto the 2-3 again. And, uh... Our opponent does not fear death. Yes. To die would be a great adventure. Perhaps today is a good day to die. I am Worf, son of Moog. Nerd! Nicole and I watch Deep Space Nine every night before bed. That's our current TV show. Only on attacking, correct. Is there a Wrath in the set? Maybe? Yeah, there is actually. There's a really good Wrath. It's the uh, White White X Wrath that makes Might tokens. It's a good one, but what can I do? Honestly, it wouldn't even be that bad because the uh, I would just move the chair over to the Might token. There's a chair and the equipment will stay in play too, so. Wow. So they have Planet Disruption and they move a thing here. We have two of that creature that bounces our own stuff though to bounce this thing for value, which is great. Um, same play again. Let's put this thing here. This thing also has trample, so they kind of have to block it now. I might actually move the other helm over. No, let's block, let's block it with everything, so. Let's attack with, uh... Yeah, just attack with this or whatever. Okay, we act like we want to trade this, because, like, we want to we move the, the battle chair somewhere else, so. Alright, so... Need more than that. Oh, God, opponent, don't do it. You need more than that. There we go. Six trample coming at you. How are they blocking our flyer? It's currently pacified. It's, uh, it's in jail. jail. Alright, so let's kill the six. Kill the, uh, kill the automaton. Now we're going to move our equipment over. So we're going to play land. Put the battle chair on. Might even be a mite. That would make it a 5-5 five, five trample, and that can give it more toughness. Or do I want it on the, uh, the eggs in a basket? Let's put this in the big creature, I guess. Put this here. And uh, once again, good lord. Gigantic. think this card is really good. The battle chair. And we have, uh, again, we have two copies of the bounce your stuff card, which would bounce our glider, too, which is nice. Flush cutter on the thing, sure. They got a 5-3. We have five, they have five blockers or five creatures. So we Leroy that we won. That's very possible, honestly. Yeah, for sure. Might be right. Uh, let's draw a card before we do anything. Draw a card. And we draw a Carnivorous Canopy. That's going to end the game, folks. Uh, let's put this here. Put this uh, on the Trampler. This and this block this. They block everything else. We just act with the Trampler. Nice. And then they'll block with an artifact. And we'll kill the artifact and trample over and win the game. Yep. So, trample. No, the blood block with all three. Look at the discipline here. Look at the discipline. Blocking with three things. All right. They are not dead. Oh, it's sorcery. Uh oh. Uh oh. Cassian loves the uh oh game. All right. So, still a great, great exchange for us. Whatever. We'll just, uh, I guess we'll kill. 
If we kill the remaining 3 3 or just hold on to this. We need our mana next turn to equip the battle chair, so let's just kill the uh, 3 3. Kill this. We're going to proliferate. One for you, one for me. And then we're going to put the Gold Warden's Helm on the craw crawling course. I'm just saying, yeah. Next turn, we have Injector and Battle Chair on the course. Kill Pacifism? Oh, that works too, I guess. Yeah, whatever, sure. Uh, play a little loose, you know? We're in bronze, whatever. We're good. It's all good, y'all. Don't worry about it. That's Make it. a 3-3, three, three, sure. Going to clone college. Yeah, it is It is also a, a disenchant. It's not just a, a shatter effect, but sure, we got it. So, a little, uh, a little sketchy. That's okay. Oh, their mites don't block either. Yes, yeah, so, so I'm, I'm just playing at a bronze level here in bronze and mythic. That's what we're supposed to do, right? So we're 3-0. Glider, Helm, Predation, Vorak. Sure. And uh, we're on the play. The old Glider. Just freaking teeth everywhere. Sinew Dancer. One mana for one. Four mana to tap or one mana to tap if corrupted. Ah, uh, not a great card, I don't think. Not a great card. Make a little noise here, huh? In for one. No two drop, thank god. They played like a toxic two drop there. Things could have gotten a little awkward, but. Here's our glider. My lance. Gideon's Lawkeeper. Yeah, just this card without the uh text. This is a this is an attack. Alright, uh, we're trying to block here. Whatever, use your trick. So why do we block here, right? Why are we blocking here when we, we it's pretty obvious they have a trick? Because trading our flyer. That's not going to corrupt anything anyway for their trick. And most importantly, their turn three is just like a really good play. We're exchanging one for one anyway, but the tempo we gain from them playing nothing on turn three is great for us too. So it's an important thing. I have an article about it. Uh, when getting got is not a bad thing. Your goal is to win the game, uh, not to not to not get got, you know? So yeah, they played a trick. We lost our creature. So what? It's like, it's like poker where your goal is not to win every hand. Your goal is to win the entire session. And that's our goal in a game of magic also. Helm or Vorak here? Um, we're going to Vorak. And I guess we're just going to get a land off of it, even though we're kind of flooded. But let's find, let's find, one, of our, find one of our two cool lands here. Did not find one of our two cool lands. That's okay. Um, it's not even an issue of, like, make them have it. Because they obviously have it there. No bronze player is attacking their 1 1 to your 1 3 without having it. So they have it 100%. The question is not like. It's not a question of, like, are they bluffing? Do they got it? Or do they not got it? Which is very, like, base level, you know, like, card game terminology. It's more of, like, okay, well, if I do this, how does it affect the game overall as a whole? How does it make the next few turns play out, you know? And what it does is it puts them off your 3-drop. Now if our trick is gone. They're using the trick on a small creature, not a bigger creature. It just, just seems good overall. So it's a good exchange. They play the Attendant and they bounce a land. Sure. We can, uh, we can Predation here. And then Glider, if we Predation, we can attack too. I'm happy with this. It's obviously like, we're using a kill spell on like a medium strength creature, but it's not a hard kill spell. It's a fight spell, so we might not be able to kill a larger creature anyway. So, let's uh, fire up here. And kill this bad boy. And then, uh, safe, safe attacks, because Mites can't block. Play the thingy also. And we got a Helm coming. And now we're a little flooded, but we do have some pretty good mana sinks in our deck. We have a two six sixes uh, that are equipments. We've got a few more equipments. We've got uh, two cool lands, so... It's also the reason why it's not necessarily good to bluff at a spot like that, because your opponent is, is correct that they block anyway. You know, your bluff should be made in a, a situation where your opponent, it, they loot, it caught, the opportunity cost of blocking is high. So now, we see them going forward again, right? We have the Mite attacking, uh, we have the Dancer not attacking, which is a little interesting, actually. And Toxic 1 can't block. Once again, I... I th now it's a little less about tempo, but even then, like, if they play a trick here, they don't play a 5-drop. It's great for us, so I'm just going to block again. What do you got? You got another one? All right, so this time it's also worse because they have... This is, is the Toxic. They drew a card off of it. That might have been actually the... So I think uh, in, a, in a vacuum, strategy-wise, our play is correct there. But thinking about it from the point of view of this particular trick draws a card, it might have been wrong, actually. So, but also, disallowing the first Toxic counter has a lot of value, too. So, uh, play land. 
And uh, we could attend a land here. But I want to attend this, this gold ward zone for more value. This game is clearly going to go on for a while. So I'm not in a huge rush. So let's attack with the right. Infinity, put him in the Discord. I made a channel for soundboard suggestions. So don't forget, folks, I want your help. All right. I know in Bronson, I think it's always very fun when I add more, uh, I add set specific sound clips for the soundboard, but I can't think of all of them myself. So we have a channel in the Discord for it. Let me know what your comments are. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let's, uh, let's do it. Pop quiz, hot shot. So we got our helm here, making a, uh, a rebel. You rebel scum. Four cards for our opponent, five lands in play, uh, clunky tapper, a blight belly rat, sure. Proliferating being a thing. So again, stopping the poison counter by turn was pretty good. Find link that article. If Mike's in chat, Mike's the bomb. Mike's the final. Mike, Mike will find it for you. Uh, all right, we draw a spore slinger, which is pretty good actually. Um, we're just gonna jam here. Just send the Vorak and the Helm in, and then play the Docrination Attendant and uh, have a good blocker too. So send it. What do you got, friend? Tricks. They're going to charge the mites my 3-3. Three, three. Which deals damage to it. Honestly, a little bit risky to let me untap. Because if I had played a pump spell or a kill spell, I would have screwed them up here. But Bounce Spore Slinger, get two ETBs. I want to get two ETBs on the, on the helm. Get a second 2-2. Two, two. So we're going to play the Attendant. We're going to bounce our four Mirrodin equipment. And the 2-2 two, two stays in play. And now I get to make another one, which is great. Thanks, Mike. You're great. Pawns of a tank. Thanks, Infinity. Annihilating Glare. So they're going to sacrifice the Might to kill my creature. They could have played five there and chose not to, which is a little weird. So maybe they're, they're valuing keeping the, uh, the tap up. But now they get that first counter in. Which is, you know, not ideal, but fine. Know how to cast a Testament Bearer. A 4-1 creature for four. When it dies, look at the cards of your library up on your hand. Pretty good, actually. Pretty good. Opponent... Block Rebel, would I still block if I lose the token from damage? No, I would not bounce it, yeah. Okay, so... This thing's pretty good, obviously, because uh, it's just a uh, solid card in general, as far as trades go. Just trades and it draws a card. Um, We have the Helm and the Spore Singer. I mean, we could, like, pump. We don't want to trade... We don't want to trade anything with this, honestly. Uh, we just like Spore Singer, pump the Might attack, and play the Helm, I guess. All right, little buddy, get in there. Do your thing, bud. It's a Mighty Might. They're going to block. Wow, okay. So they traded the Might for the 4 1. Logo top three. Put one in the hand, two in the graveyard. Kind of like a reverse uh, Organ Hoarder. They've been two lands, so all we know is this card's better than a land. In theory, or it's equal to or better than the land. Play the Helm and say go. So our board right now is pretty unimpressive. We just have like a bunch of two threes and two twos. We have a removal spell for an artifact. They play some bomb. They're doing nothing. We draw a venomous brutalizer. Bingo. That's not bad. It's just a big idiot. We like big idiots here. So uh, we're gonna move to combat. They'll tap something here. We're gonna show Leroy and play our four four. Funny, so it actually isn't a reason to uh to kick it because like there's nothing, nothing to, prol to, to proliferate right now. All right, so they block. That's the second counter on me. Now the but realistically the cost reduction of this doesn't matter much anymore because like yeah, they have so much mana anyway. Should I cast brutalizer? We're not gonna, we're not gonna kick it. Play four four. So they go. Again, nothing to proliferate. And pass. Could have moved the helm, I guess, but whatever. Honestly, I think that we probably want to spread our power and help us out because they have a tapper, so. Here comes the attendant again. Pretty good. So, bounce a land. This card seems good. We have two of them. Didn't know how good it was. We draw ossification, and now it comes down to is it time to start trying to win this game? I think the answer is yes. So, normally we were, we were discussing earlier about how you want to hold your removal spells for better targets. However, at this stage in the game, they've got nothing. They've got one land in hand and no other things going on. 
So I just want to cast it. We'll just cast it and try and close the game out. If you can close the game before they draw a bomb, that's you know almost better than them uh, than wait trying to hold out of us forever. So what's well, ossific ossification ossification and uh, put this here. Hit the three four. Not having a tapper because the uh, three four blocks better anyway, and this is very costly to use. So and then we are going to move to combat. They will get to poison us next turn in theory, but we're attacking for a pretty good chunk, so just attack. Hold the canopy, so go. So the might can give us our third poison next turn, but making this cost one versus cost four is not that important this stage of the game. They're gonna play a dune mover, which is perfect, because they just gave us a target for our canopy, which is great. That might has gotta come in there, yep. So can't block anyway, might as well get in. That's our third counter, but we draw a mandible claw here. Uh, just gonna kill this. Put them down to one. Play the claw and say go. And we're gonna proliferate uh, nothing because the only thing to proliferate is us. <laughs> Should be cool and all, but move to combat. Tap the four four. Get in for four. Put them to one. Play does play the mandible claw and say go. Ship it. I used to have a radio show on uh, WUSB Stony Brook 90.1 FM, Stony Brook College Radio. And we had like the little box that played all of our like sound clips, like, you know, like our ads and things like that. And there were, um, hold on. There were, there were a, bunch of, a bunch of sound clips because we were supposed to run like a thing every hour saying this is WUSB 90.1 FM at Stony Brook. It's like a requirement for the, for the FCC. And we had a whole box of like fancy people who came to the studio recording them. And one of them was actually Mankind, because Mankind grew up in Stony Brook, which is here on Long Island, which is the town that my college was in. So it was like Hamlin, you know, hey, this is Mrs. Mankind. I, I used to walk your call your halls as a little kid and, and, and have a nice day. I used to use that one all the time. It was freaking awesome. Four up. Actually, I want to remind you all. Um, so the article I was discussing, if you can go, you want to go find it yourself, coolstuffinc.com, just Google this title. And uh, I talk about the concept I was discussing where getting tricked by your opponent is uh, when it's the right play. So, good, good article, I think. I don't toot my own horn too much when it comes to my articles, but I think this one came out really, really well. It's a very, very useful uh, useful one for you, trying to get better at the game. Moving on to our next match. And our hand is fine. We can keep this. Ooh, turn one adaptive is gross. Uh, this card is very, very good. This is going to be a 3-3 a three, three or 4-4 four, four very, very fast. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, this might be uh, our first loss here because their hand already looks really, really good. Yes, they go. They're curving out here on the play. They play a good 3-drop here. We're in trouble. That's, that's a good 3-drop. Yep. 7 power on turn 3. Draw a card. They attack. And now we are, uh, we are scrambling for a response. Uh, no blocks. Draw a forest. It's a good start, at least. Play the helm. Now they can at least, like, double block a 3-3, in theory. They have a trick here. We're dead. This is, like, your ideal limited curve out. Uh, this card is a mythic uncommon. Seems so good. Yeah. Um... Okay then. Well, that was uh thanks thanks for playing, I guess. Well, Alright, we can like keep battling, I guess, but we're we're pretty freaking dead. Um Yeah, uh the one drop is just it's just so good. You play this card on turn one, it just it just it's gonna be a one out of four four a lot of the time. Proliferate, oil counters, etc. etc. They're gonna fight my my crawling course. That, that does kill me. And a spore slayer. Okay, okay. All right, I give up. I'm done. I give up. I give up. Cassian played his first hands of poker last night. Who wants to see it? Raise your hand in chat. You want to see Cassian playing his first ever hand of poker? We were at my dad's my, my dad's house for dinner last night. We like, we like playing poker and blackjack and stuff. You ready for this? I know that, that loss was sad. This will cheer you up again. Here we go. You ready? Here's Cassian and Nicole. Cassian's first ever poker hand. There he is. There he is. All right, next game. Now we're happy again. Nicole wanted, to know, wanted you to know also YouTube that he also licked the cards. 
like multiple times. He loves licking things now. Hand's not great, but we're going to keep. Um, we're on the draw. Have a little faith, I think. Gamer in training. All right, draw the injector. Sure. So we have, you know, all we have four drop, four drop, three drop, four drop here, but we got an incisor glider. Draw the forest. That's step one. Diddly says, wondering if you have advice for what I should buy for a friend who's had a baby. Um, I mean, diapers are great, honestly. Uh, most of the best thing you do is just ask. Ask them what they want. Two or three minutes. Equipment spells cost one less to cast, and active ability equipment you control that targets cost one less. This card's great. Uh, Marky common for the, the Boros deck, which has all the four mirrored and stuff. I mean, nothing we have blocks here particularly well. I guess we could just. It says menace too. Yeah, we're uh, not really blocking here. Let's play Store Sigger, just like whatever. It's just a two. It's just it's literally just a two two. Um, we play the chorus and equip it. It's a one three. They can't block this anyway, but yeah, let's do this. Yeah, honestly, a good thing you can do is just like bring them dinner, or just do something that you take for granted that is difficult for a parent to do, like you know, make a meal, get a good night's sleep, kind of stuff. You know, like have a little time to themselves. Whatever it is, you know, if you can make things a little easier for them, do it that way. Definitely not close. Close are just like a dime a dozen. So you have a 1-3 Toxic 2. They play the Hex Gold Hover Wings. So we got a Rebel here. You rebel scum. It's a 3-2 Flyer. Here comes the creatures. Yeah, so kind of a weird glider here. They're not, they're not really infecting, uh, but draw land. We can indoctrinate something, or we can... Uh, Porcelain Zealot, which is not really great here either. We're not blocking flyers at the moment. The glider could block the smaller glider, I guess. But if I play a creature that can block the aspirant, you can block both there. Um, we can indoctrinate bounce a land, I guess. Spore Singer. We could Spore Singer and just Vigilance as an attack and get the, get the first two Toxic Counters on them. Um... That waste of mana, though. Yeah, I'll just do this. Just bounce a land. Bounce a land, make a token, and just say go. Because now I have two blockers for the Aspirant. Another Helm. All right. Uh, sure. You rebel scum. going to wear out the, uh, the old Rebel Scum button here. So we're... Got the ground going. Now, they, they can move these equipments around, obviously, and give things flying. It's important. Yeah, I think all of these four Meriden cards are a lot better than they look. I know they all look very, very mopey, but I think they're all excellent. All right. We play planes. Um, we can buff up the attendant and get him for five and get some poison counters going. It's also Porcelain Zealot. We can move the helm. Why is this a 3-3-3? Three, three, three? Oh, this gives all your equipped creatures plus one plus so. That's weird. Right, Agent, uh, new sub, what's your name? Where you from? Welcome. Yeah, we're already at 12 here. This is not, not particularly great for us. 2-3. Um, they move the equipment over here. I guess we just block this then, so let's, let's zell it. Play Zealot, pump the attendant, just attack. Just like try and we gotta race here a little bit, I think, so. Oh my god. Brutal start again, man. Opponents are here with the with the insane draws in our last few games. Eh, this this draw's not nearly as good, I guess, but. We got Brutalizer, Spore Singer, Glider. Yeah, we are. Uh, we can put the, I guess, put the injector on the glider. Make a bigger blocker. What's up, Sonny? Thanks for reset. Appreciate it. A Vorak. Vorak find land glider. Glider blocks this. Yikes. 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 All right. Yeah. I mean, we're in pretty big trouble here, but we gotta make some moves, I think. Sending attack in. It's a hit. It's a poison. 
Rising reset, thanks so much. We're gonna Vorak. Look for a green source, probably. Sure. Play glider, say go. Next turn, we'll suit the gliders. We can block the larger flyer. To try and race them with these creatures. We get Brutalizer, Spore Singer, which is not bad. We're close to infecting them also for the glider. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, we're dead on board. Need to draw something. Decent curve out, double kill spells. Oh, they got a Leroy? That works, actually, because I have uh, only two blockers. Yeah, I mean... Really, uh... Just gotta block this thing, I guess. All right, sure. And more? We're just dead. All right, yeah, I mean, that's a that's a pretty good beatdown draw, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely not, uh, not too shabby. All right, there's Mirix, that's cool. Uh, that sounds good. One drop, two drop, three drop, four drop. Love it. Give me the course. Creepy ass card. Fuseling, that's also a really good card. Uh, Hunter Maze, eh? Sure. So we're gonna attack for one. And play a Duelist of Deep Faith. They're gonna Shrapnel Slingers as a bear. Now this thing dies, they get a counter on their Fuseling. We draw Forest, cool. Um... Just gonna jam, right? Just gonna jam with the old duelist first striker like that. It's funny, they could trade here. So the first strike would kill the 2-2. Two -two, and they would pump this thing up and then this would kill this. But I think I'm honestly pretty fine with that, so. Send it. Just gonna take it, sure. First poison counters are on. Here's the Vorak. So actually this is fine. So we whip on this, but get to proliferate. Uh, we're not gonna proliferate their thing. We're just gonna proliferate the uh, them. So. Another one. All right. So three, three, two, two, one, one. Mirix, attendant, hunter maze. Could bounce the Vorak for value for feeling like you know we can't attack with it, but that seems like not a great thing to do right now. Festival event only rewards styles. I have no idea, unfortunately. Um, maybe someone in chat can help out. New sound effects. Hell yeah. Volt Charge! Pump up the Fuse Link. Pretty good. Still a good block here, though. Another Attendant. I think we're, um... I think we're in line to... To bounce the Chorus here. I don't want to miss a land drop. My tap land, too, so... Just gonna attack with the, uh... The Duelist, see if they block or not. If they trade, it's fine, I think. If they don't want trade, sure. There's your fourth Poison Counter. Let's play Murex. Let's play Attendant. I'll just bounce the, the Crawling Course. Get our Might on. Chimney Rabble. Just another Mog Monday. 3-3 three, three Haste and all one but of course our free four holding the fort. We drew a Brutalizer also. Pretty sweet. Now our attacks ain't looking so good. Um... Would I trade the Attendant for the Rabble? I don't think so right now. I think we're just going to chill for a minute. We'll just play our Attendant, bounce the planes, replay it, and play the uh, the, call, the course, I think. Huh. We could actually bounce the Attendant and just like keep making infinite mites. It's kind of cute. But um, I don't think it's necessarily actually good. But overall thoughts so far with the new cards? Uh, it's our first draft. So that seems cool so far. So that seems like kind of like refreshing in a way where it's like not super wordy. My set review took only like five hours rather than the usual like six because there's like there's, like, there's no double sided cards, no no extra subsets of cards, just like kind of simple, kind of cool. Seems sweet. Uh, all right, so just bounce a uh, bounce the land, bounce the land. We play it, we play chorus, and just say go. Could have maybe like held the chorus and played the maze for next turn, but we're gonna chill. We have the Mirix going too, so like, we know, I think the game goes long, we just keep making tokens and killing them, it's cool also. They play a Hex Gold Halberd, which makes a 2-2, they'll have first strike and trample on their turn. 
Plays well with the, uh, the Fuseling. Draw another land. Sure, so... I'm just gonna play this. Make a token. Our attacks aren't really great, so we're just gonna say go, I think. We would trade Attendant for a 3-3. And every trade pumps this thing up, and now that they have us in to give it first strike, it's actually like not ideal for us, so just say go. Land six. Nothing. Cool. So now you have plenty of time to sit here and make, make, make some mites. Um, are we interested in kicking the Brutalizer or to making more mites? Probably should put the Brutalizer in place here, right? 4-4, four, four, proliferate, do our thing. I screwed up. Never mind. Requires a third green. Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to Bronze Mythic. Still 4-4. Four, four. It's good. So I missed that on one poison counter. Um, I guess, like, it's still probably fine to play. Just, like, body-wise. It's obviously a 4-4 four, four lines up on this board, so... We draw a Mandible Claw. Um, two to sack this. Three to activate this. Kind of want to stack the, the maze and see what we draw. Honestly, this 2-1 is not, effect, not really affecting the board that much, so... Wow. What a heinous tap. How do you tap like that? Are, are you drunk? What are you, what are you doing? Waka, waka. Why are you tap the mirrors? I wanted that. Sure, whatever. Play this thing and take up. And, uh... Nice gummed up board, but we have our larger creatures, and we have the mirrors going, and they're poisoned, so... Here's Furnace Strider, pretty awesome common. 4-5, remove oil counters to give haste. We draw an Annex Sentry, which is a way to remove things. Now we can't attack them because they have a 4-5, so we're just going to chill, honestly. Uh, just sit back and make some more uh, make some more tokens. Yes, the Pro Tour is in two weeks. I leave on Thursday for the Pro Tour, the Pro Tour Testing House. No live content from Thursday until uh, very late February. But I'll be on today and tomorrow for Bronze Mythic. End step, make a might. It's a mighty might. The assault charge? What's, what's assault charge? You mean the card on our board? This card? I mean, yes, but it would be terrible in a lot of other spots too, so the floor is too low, I think. Um, Here's a land. No reason to cast this yet. Shouldn't shield. And we're going to say go. Pro Tour 17th of the 19th. Paper Pro Tour, Pioneer, and Draft. Fleshless Gladiator. So this returns if, if uh, the graveyard if they're corrupted. I am not corrupted, though. So nice board stall here. So our land's doing extra work here. Ew, Pioneer. What do you want to see? So yeah, I mean, we just keep making... Uh, Keep making mites. We have an endless stream of mites. Oh, sorry. 22 cards left. We have tons of boomers in our deck. Multiple good equipments, multiple six drops. There is no limit for our tokens. They're dead to two Leroy's. I mean they have they have a lot of blockers. Uh I don't I don't know, honestly. Just gonna say go here. Nothing really, really worth killing. They have two cards in their hand also. We're trying to chill. Right now we're in this game state where like we're pretty happy because we'll eventually win. And then we can play to the board if we have to when it uh it happens. Mites can't block. We're 20 with five with six blockers. I think we're in a lifelike early. We're doing okay here. Here comes Shrapnel Slinger. They can sacrifice an art or sacrifice a creature to kill my thingy. That's annoying. Sack goblin, kill my justicator. Sure. That's not cool, honestly. That's probably a pretty big deal. Having a three power life like our defense is pretty nice. You might need to, might need to cast our spells next turn. No tax though. Uh let's see here. Annex Entry only takes things that are small, and then the Predation can fight, but obviously a removal spell of response would be terrible for us. They have one, two, three, four, five, six. They have seven attackers to my five blockers at the moment. Uh, I'm still just going to chill. 
They were good. We have we might have lethal uh, with our, our mites at the moment, but like we don't want to be in a spot where they have two kill spells in their hand or a trick or something like that, and we just lose the game on the spot. So we should keep chilling. We're definitely having an ability here. We draw a glider. All right, that's a pretty good draw, I'm not going to lie. So let's play Glider, and now we're going to move in, I think. Play Glider, play Sentry, and instead make a Might, kill him next turn. Crack the Expanse, sure. Take the Fusling, I think. I'm just going to take the, the, the token, actually. Just, like, guarantee a kill. And now, in theory, if I were to attack all here... I could, I could also predate Predation, too. If I were to attack with everything, they have six blockers. They block one, two, three, four, five, six. They're exactly dead in theory. Uh, we could fire off the Predation and try and kill them with that way, too. Predation fighting on... Maybe the Fuseling... It's actually pretty good. Ah, eh, sure. Let's just do it. Tap better, though. No. Actually, I can't. Yeah, never mind. I, I screwed up. Uh, let's fight the 1 4 on the 1 3. They're making any consider crafting these cards for new sets. I don't. Uh, but. What do they got here? They have a hex world slash. Awesome. So that made them use their removal spell. So now we have a lethal. So unless they have another kill spell here, this is lethal. Once again, they have six blockers to my one. So they block one, two, three, four, five, six. Take seven poison. We actually have a. We actually have two. They need to kill two things here. So now they're actually dead. So the point of that is, say, say they had two kill spells in their hand. We, we, we went for it without, without trying to like push the through. If you go for it too early and they have it, you just lose the game in the spot. In a game, you're probably going to win. So you need to be careful with your your all in motions. You know, yes, there are times your opponent's dead on board, but you need to be very aware of if you go for it and it fails, what happens. So let's fire up a Leroy. And every card is toxic, so they have to block everything or they die. They have four toxic currently. There he blocks. Right now we have eight creatures getting through untapped or un unbothered. Uh, is there a card that kills two of the same card with the same name? Because these are getting through right now. Oh yeah, woo! Poison. Blouses. So yeah, there you go. Uh, there's the the Mirix making tokens. Our rare look pretty good there. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I had fun. I had a freaking great time. <laughs> All right. And it's good. Keep. All right. Forest. The Listener Seer. Once again, 03. Oil counter creature. Sega. We got the Vorak and the Basilisk, which is fine. All right. Um, I kind of guess Basilisk here. I feel like getting our counters in is pretty important, and I'm kind of feeling a vibe here for a counter spell. I don't know why. It's like, it's like a, a quench or whatever. Just getting the vibe. I don't know. I'm just getting my little spire. My, my spire sense is going off. That also works. Cool. Kill the worst creature. Works for me. One Vorak coming up. Moving to all counters. Scry. Top. Scry top. Didn't even do anything. Just leaving the car where it was. Trawler Drake. This card's pretty good. We have a 1-1 one, one flyer for one. Has one oil counter on it. Every non-creature spell puts an oil counter on it. And most of them will also proliferate. So even more counters. So play the Vorak. Let's try and draw to our cool lands. We have two cool lands. Just the forest. So a little flooded, but Basilica Skull Bomb is here. 
Sack this, plus two, plus two, flying and draw a card. Scry again. So I was saying earlier, it's important for these uh, oil cards. They don't want to use their last counter, because once they do, they can't proliferate anymore. Infectious Inquiry. Draw two, lose two, poison counter. So there are cards in blue-black that give you a poison counter directly. And a lot of proliferate stuff. Let's try and get the ball rolling. We see a 2-2 two -two Drake coming in here. Sure. Let's see what our draw step yields. An adva adaptive spore singer. So we can fire up here, I think. Just fire with the old uh the old plus two plus two. Not gonna cast Ossification yet, because again, this three tier is mildly threatening, but not not like super threatening yet, so. Gonna hold our rule spell and see where it takes us. Brave Heart Reset, thanks so much. Fire up the bomb next turn, get some damage in, draw a card. They're gonna block. A very defensive block here. It's taking the Seer, taking the Scry, taking the block. Gain five life, Scry. So what are Phyrexians? We are the Borg. You will be assimilated. Resistance is futile. No! Basically. Basically, it's the Borg. Machine life, want to make everything machine and perfected, yada, yada, yada. All right, five cards in hand. They got a lot of cards. Here's a Void Wing Hybrid. This is a really, really good card. 2-1 Flyer, Toxic 1. Maybe they proliferate, return it. And play a Rat King also. Damn. All right, so... Hopefully no hit here on the Rat King, thank god. And we're going to ossificate the 2-1 Flyer, since it's going to return multiple time, times probably, so... Seeing as Death Touch as well, does not. Does not have Death Touch. Alright, so, untap. Draw the Canopy. This destroys a Flyer too, six. We can kill this as well, love it. So, we're going to ossify and Spell Bomb. Or Spell, spell Bomb first. Try to use our mana. See what we draw. Pump the 2-2 up. Alright, and then we're going to play a land and ossification. Hit the recursive flyer. And then descend. They want to trade the rat for the 3 3. I'm all about it. It's fine by me. Sure. So, we do address the spells here. We are a little flooded. So, 14, 16. We have the answer for their flyer in play. Not a lot else going on, though. Just a 2 2. Let's think that we have two good value lands. Haven't drawn one yet. Drawn a lot of lands, but not no value lands. Here we have an Atmosphere Surgeon, 2 1 for 2. What do you guys not going to spell? Put an oil counter on this. Remove an oil counter to give a creature flying. Sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, that could have been worse, I guess. Not the best card ever in this situation, but draw the injector, make our thing into a 2 4, get some poison on. And we're going to kill the, uh, the Drake also. If this thing hits and they get infected, we can also proliferate. All right, kill that. And, uh... Nothing to play for eight. Let's take up. Now we need spells. Simple as that. We've drawn eight lands this game. Gotta find some spells. We are currently 36 cents to draw land, courtesy of untapped.gg. Download it for yourself for free. Use my link, please. Track all your games, all your stats. Nice heads-up display. No! All right, well, they played a big Mythic Rare. 3-5 uh, flying, proliferate twice, and then pay one and two Phyrexian, move counters from permanent to control, give indestructibles. They have no counters, but it's a 3-5 three, three, flyer, and uh, we are in trouble. Need some spells, folks. Need some spells. All right, uh... So they're going to proliferate me a infect counter? Sure. Twice? Sure. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a problem. This is definitely an issue. Here comes the 3-5 flyer. Down to 6. Please stop playing spells, thank you. We draw the Mandible Claw. Alright. Uh, yeah, I mean, sure. I think I actually just attack here. 
they want to trade or whatever. Let's move, move, move the, uh, the prosthetic thing over. It's got vigilance, so. All right, so move this to the life linker, I think. And sake, yeah. Very, very much in the hole here. Uh, they also have the ability where any spell puts a counter on this. And they can uh, give things flying also. Retrofitter, too. That makes the Prowler into a 4-4. Four -four. Not cool. Uh, okay. Nope, not okay. So, we double block to kill the 4-4. Four -four. We take 7, gain 2, and go to 1. And I just don't see how we can ever win. But, sure. Rough game. Rough game. Thanks, game, for the raid. Appreciate that. Alright. Uh, don't think we have any outs. Incisor glider, probably not an out. Tough game. I mean, like, that's just, our, our deck is not very good, but they drew six lands, all spells with a good rare. We drew ten lands. Our deck's not very good. It's magic sometimes. Uh, I'll take five and three with this deck, honestly. Our deck was pretty, pretty damn bad. Our deck was, you know, heinously bad, honestly. Just, like, a bunch of crappy cards and no synergy, so. That's fine. We'll take it. I think it was a good, uh, a good learning experience for our first draft. Definitely... Owned in way too hard on uh, the infecty stuff, and it just like wasn't really there. But we didn't really like know that because like we don't know how to value the cards yet. It's our first draft, but that's fine. Uh, definitely, and then we kind of like moved out a bit. We have some good cards, but all in all, not a very uh, not a very good first draft. But that's okay. We're gonna get the draft again. So let's look at our our little prize packs here. Thanks for that. Hop on over to untap.gg and take a little look at our stats. See how the draft went. Uh, hello? <laughs> what did I do? Did I break it? Maybe I broke it. Bronze Millie Channel? Yeah, that's this is the right right thing, right? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, well, we'll just hop on over to the... Uh, we'll just go back over here, man. That's no problem. And, uh... It's already gone. Already gone. All right, whatever. You get the idea. That wasn't very good. Hopefully, our next deck's better. Hope you enjoyed the series. As always, again, episode two is coming up on stream right now. But YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe, support the channel. Episode two is coming up. Let me know what you think of the format in the comments. And have a good one, folks. Appreciate it.